Good evening, my friends. I hope you guys are doing all right during these unforgiving times. So, for tonight's poem video, this is number 54. And I've written a very good poem. This one is based on one of my favorite DC comic heroes. And you all may know him. See how I'm wearing my shirts of him very much. That's right. Tonight's poem is based on The Dark Knight. That's right. I've been a huge fan of The Dark Knight since I was growing up. And I have watched every movie that always involves him facing every villain that has tried to end Gotham City as always. I watched him face every villain on the list that has tried to come after Gotham. The likes of the Choker, the likes of Two-Face, the likes of Mr. Freeze, the Riddler, Bane. I mean, name all the villains that have tried to come after Gotham City as ever. So for tonight's poem video, I've got the poem based on The Dark Knight. And this one is called The Cape Crusader which is also a second nickname representing the Dark Knight. So get ready as I read you this poem. And at the end of this poem, I will read you my famous quote that I have loved from the Dark Knight trilogy as ever. Here's this poem, The Cape Crusader. The Cape Crusader. I see a protector who watches at night, facing criminals that plan to fright. Gotham has been through a lot before, not to mention what every enemy has in store. The city has endured so much pain, which became a very huge strain. The wounds have started to exist, coming from every villain's game of twist. You have Scarecrow spreading fear, Ra's al Ghul making Gotham not very clear. The Joker causing crime for fun. Two-Face ending fellows with his coin and gun. Bane responsible for terrorism in the town. That involved a bomb causing the frown. Batman has saved Gotham multiple times from an end. A way to have it mend. His legacy will never be forgotten in this part. It was born straight from the start. Here's the quote that I've loved from the Dark Knight trilogy very much. And this was my favorite and this was my favorite from the start. Why do we fall? So we can learn to pick ourselves up. That quote means a lot to me and I believe it tells that no matter how you have fallen, never let something wreck what you're trying to create. No matter how you have fallen, there's always a chance to rise. And you want to leave something behind for everyone to remember you by. So never let something end what you're trying to create. That's why this famous quote has been around since the, has been around for the Dark Knight trilogy from the start. And I love it very much. So there you have it. This was it for tonight's poem. This was number 54. And this poem was based on The Dark Knight. That's right. My favorite DC comic hero, Batman. And the name of the poem, like I said, was called The Caped Crusader. A second nickname to The Dark Knight. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I will be making more of these. Just be on the lookout. You've already seen my YouTube channel. So feel free to check them out. Feel free to check out the videos I've made. I've been making these since March, since <coughs> since March, since the pandemic happened. So feel free to check these out. And I want to say that's about it. So I want to say good night to you guys. Hang in there. We're, we will get through this. I know a lot of people have been saying it. And I've been trying to stick with it. I've, I've been trying to, I've been trying to, well, what am I saying? I've been trying to hang in there, so. So nothing, I've been trying to stay where I'm at. So nothing wrecks what we're, what's going on. So like I said, we will get through this. This is not the end. So thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Remember, why do we fall? So we can learn to pick ourselves up. A quote from the Dark Knight Trilogy.